Hello, in the preceding section, we introduced objects and in methods. Now let's look at the string objects methods. You have a string, you can invoke its methods. We already used the lower method and upper method. Now we look at more methods. So these are the more methods you can use here. This is our noun returns true if all characters in the string are alpha numerical. And there is at least one character. Is alpha returns true if all characters in the string are alphabetical and there is at least one character. Is digit returns true if this string contains only number characters. Is identifier returns true if this string is a Python identifier. Is lower, is up, is space. So this is to test if a string is lower, upper, or string is a space string. So those are the um, examples. You can see here is the uh, strings welcome to Python is our num. This is false because you have the space. So it is not all the uh, uh, alphabetical or numerical. How about this one? Welcome is alpha. Yes, that's true. It's all, all, all letters. Is this is digit? That is true. So this is digit. Is this identifier? No, it cannot be identified. You have a space there. So that's false. Is this low? S? Yes, everything is low. That's true. Is upper? Yes. No, that's not. It. It's all low. Is space? No, it's false. This has the non-space characters. So here's another example. This is to prompt the user to enter a string. So now you can see if this is a numeric string. So now I'm going to add A, B, and run this. And so you enter the string. And so this is nothing printed because it's, 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 it's not a digit. So this is digit, you're going to print it. So that is all for the some of the stream methods. We will learn more stream methods in the uh, future chapters. For now, these are just some examples and you can use it. See you on the next video.